The description of Roblox Imposter reads, Be an innocent crewmate and complete your tasks. Use your detective skills to find out who up to no good. In the game of Roblox Imposter, it is very similar to Among Us, which was a game released on 2018 on Steam. Among Us recently rose in popularity along with many beam people type games, where there are two people on the ship who are imposters. It's your job to complete your task positioned all over the ship and avoid getting killed, because these imposters have a nasty secret, and they are in fact among the crowd, hence the name. These imposters have the secret of killing and sabotaging the tasks you need to do, which you need to do it in to complete the game. In the description of this game, it reads it is inspired by Among Us, which it is a bit too inspired. This game has also come under recent controversy for stealing assets as well, which thankfully has been put to an end. The overall genre of inspired games needs a look into. Could this provide a free alternative to the $5 on Steam that many can't afford? My name is Nicky Alex, and this is our Roblox game review series, where we review various Roblox games and their worth to see if it is worth playing or not. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Ash Trainer Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe to Roblox Drama, News, Tips and Tricks, and more. We are so close to 5k, please help us get there by subscribing. It takes less than a second to turn on the bell so that way you never miss out on one of my videos. Anyways, let's get into the organization of this video. Normally, we review games in a three step process gameplay slash overall script, building, and scripting. We then add these up to get our average, which then average is then used to find out our total score. Let's get started with the gameplay of Imposter. Gameplay slash overall concept. The overall concept of Imposter is that there are two teams. Crewmate being an innocent member, this makes up most of the crowd and the imposters, which there are two among us, hence the game name Imposter. Let's start off with the crewmates first. The crewmates job is to complete tasks that are assigned to them, and these placed on the map that the crewmates must follow as a team to complete the entirety of the task to win. The crewmate can discuss among another to complete their tasks. There are seven places in the Among Us maps where one can complete their tasks. For example, in Imposter, you may be assigned to complete the wires. In the original Among Us, these tasks are designed as little mini games that people can complete. However, Imposter takes this entire idea out and pretty much throws it out the window, where it will come as a surprise to some that mini games are taken out entirely. It just says complete task in which there will be a bar. So in Imposter, it's the job of the crewmates to go around and complete their tasks. For example, you may be assigned to fix wiring, which will go to wiring and fix the wiring by holding you down to complete the task. Or you may be assigned to admin, in which the game sorts you out in the lobby. Players will start in the lobby, all of them being normal, and here comes the imposters, which their job is to kill everyone and to win and to sabotage and conquer. The imposter acts like a crewmate, just acting like among them until it is their time to strike. When it is their time to strike, they can kill after a certain time period. If a crew member sees a dead body, they must report this dead body and a meeting is called. The person becomes a ghost and can still complete their task using other methods, simply just floating around. However, they cannot vote and are eliminated. Then, if the meeting is called, players will discuss around who is the imposter. The whistleblower usually then says where they found the body. No talking or chatting is allowed while completing tasks, so that way a player doesn't call out who is who. If the player finds the imposter, who they know through two ways. Number one, seeing the imposter vent, which is one of his three special abilities, and it sets it apart from the crowd which allows the player to travel through places fast to avoid being near the body so that way it doesn't look suspicious to the rest of the players. If the player sees these things or simply has a suspicion, the player can press the button in the main common areas that says emergency meeting. Then the player will say their suspicions about who the player is, and the teammates can vote someone off or choose to skip. The purpose to win the game is to complete tasks as efficiently as possible and try not to get killed while doing them, while voting off imposters in the process. As for the imposters, their ideas to sabotage and kill these players will be in the last two to exist. They must kill off all the players while trying to avoid being suspicious themselves. It's very much a game based on communication in these middle rounds. Now to the imposter. Imposter takes these methods from Among Us and similarly takes these methods to create the game. I believe this game was created around a week or so which the English not being so good in the game, but that's because the developer is Spanish. 
Imposter removes the idea of doing many games for tasks, which completely ruins the gameplay experience. If you're trying to be inspired by Among Us, Many games make Among Us fun because they provide gameplay experience other than walking around, and players can memorize how to do these tasks efficiently. When removed, this provides a lame, goring gameplay experience of walking around and simply just completing tasks by holding E, which gives the player no incentive to learn any task and simply just wait until the task is done, rather than the process of trial and error, for example, in Among Us. It doesn't explain how to do the task, you kind of just learn, you kind of just sit there. This boring gameplay experience makes it not fun to play, especially compared to Among Us, which is free on mobile, therefore even defeating the purpose of Inspired, which is a turn used to limit the game not being exactly the same, however similar. Secondly, the gameplay is played in Among Us from a top 3D view therefore pleading the case of Inspired even further. Because of this, the Top Town gameplay experience provides a better experience where it feels eerie at times, but just the right amount of eerie from Among Us. It also makes the experience easier of being a crewmate, finding who can see venting from the other room, etc. With the 3D view of Imposter, this makes it almost impossible, or almost impossible, to see another player in a room, especially if that player decides to enable first person. Therefore, this makes matches slower and much easier for the player to be an Imposter than it is to be a player for the crewmate. Seeming more like in a murder game than Among Us at all. Even with simple changes like not top down experience or something like, like that, makes the game seem almost too eerie and the game feels unpaired in a power dynamic that simply doesn't work for this game. Overall, the game's mechanics that changed it that they feel they do not work, it is in the original game for a reason. These gameplay experiences make the game much better, however, it is still decent to play. I honestly wish this game had more variety though, as the rounds feel the same with the imposter to the point where it feels mind-numbingly boring after two gameplays. I realize most YouTubers are playing this game, but this game ends up being with random strangers with 3D mode and everything affecting it, it just seems bland and almost that the imposters always end up winning. Feels like bare in a sense that at least that game has puzzles at least. Secondly, the originality. The originality of this game, I mean, they made very minor tweaks to actually have it be that way, but these tweaks made the game less fun to be honest. The problem about games like this on Roblox, especially with the all seen with the Fall Guys clones, is the original concept is quite part of the gameplay I'd say. I wish this game had extra tweaks to make it more original so that way it feels more thought out, like new minigames, etc. Overall, the gameplay experience for this game, I will rate a 5 out of 10. I feel it is average and... Tweaks do not feel as nice. There are also some points taking off for originality, which I do feel should be a major part of the game. With an environment where we encourage originality on Roblox, hopefully something will be done. Scripting slash GUI. This game actually has really smooth GUI, which I applaud the developers for. The GUI makes the game a bit more fun and replicated the Among Us GUI really good. It works smooth and nice and in terms of killing I just wish there was a bit more animation to it. The gameplay experience can work nicer if the animations were scripted a bit to be a different body with more original animations instead of the Roblox default animations. Overall scripting rating is a 7 out of 10. Building the building in the game feels very bland and boring. It is set in a low poly style which this low style complements the building but not very much. The building is alright in the game and makes an alright gameplay experience, but more detail needs to be added to make it more spectacular. 6 out of 10. Finally, this adds up to our average which is a 6 out of 10. I feel this game earned this average rating because it wasn't original and it just felt average to be honest. Thank you very much for watching my review. I'll see you in the next video.